The Media Pipe Hand Landmarker task lets you detect the landmarks of the hands in an image. You can use this task to localize key points of the hands and render visual effects over the hands. There are APIs available for Android, Python, the web, Raspberry Pi, and iOS. To get started using the hand landmark detection task for the web, it's a good idea to know a bit about the hand landmarker model. The task uses a model bundle with two packaged models, a palm detection model and a hand landmarks detection model. The hand landmark model detects the key point localization of 21 hand knuckle coordinates within the detected hand regions. This diagram shows you where the key points are. The model was trained on approximately 30,000 real world images of hands, as well as several rendered synthetic hand models imposed over various backgrounds. The palm detection model locates hands within the input image and the hand landmark detection model identifies specific hand landmarks on the cropped hand image defined by the palm detection model. Running the palm detection model is more time consuming, so when in video running mode, hand landmarker uses the bounding box defined by the hand landmarks model in one frame to localize the region of hands for subsequent frames. Hand landmarker only retriggers the palm detection model if the hand landmark model no longer identifies the presence of hands or fails to track the hands within the frame. This reduces the number of times hand landmarker triggers the palm detection model. Keep in mind that models might change over time, so always refer to the docs for the latest details. If you're like me and you prefer to get hands-on with your learning, you can try this task out in MediaPipe Studio to see it in action. You can also try out different configuration options so you can see everything the task can do. Using MediaPipe Studio is a great way to familiarize yourself with the capabilities of MediaPipe tasks. Now that you're more familiar with the hand landmarker model, you're ready to add MediaPipe solutions to your app. First, install the tasks vision package. You can download the package using NPM and use a JavaScript compilation tool like Webpack, or you can import the package using a CDN. Let's take a look at how to initialize the task using example code. Here we have a function create hand landmarker. First, we configure our web assembly binary loading using the file set resolver for vision tasks method. WebAssembly, or WASM, a binary instruction format for a stack based VM. You don't need to be familiar with WASM to use MediaPipe solutions for the web. Knowing that WASM allows non web based code to run on the web, is enough to get started. Then we create the hand landmark detector using the hand landmarker create from options method, passing the file set resolver you just created and the model. Notice that I load the WASM binary and the model from URLs rather than local paths. Given the size of these files, you don't want to bundle your model or WASM binary in your web app. Instead, store them server-side, and provide links when initializing your hand landmark detector. You can provide optional parameters to initialization. Running mode is either image or video, depending on whether you run detection on images or videos. Image is the default value. Num hands is the maximum number of hands detected by the hand landmark detector. It's an integer with a value of one or greater and a default value of one. Min hand detection confidence is the minimum confidence score for the hand detection to be considered successful in the palm detection model. It's a float value from 0 to 1 with a default value of 0 0.5. Min hand presence confidence is the minimum confidence score for the hand presence score in the hand landmark detection model. In video mode, if the hand presence confidence score from the hand landmark model is below this threshold, hand landmarker triggers the palm detection model. Otherwise, a lightweight hand tracking algorithm determines the location of the hand or hands for subsequent landmark detections. It's also a floating point from zero to one with a default value of 0 0.5. Min tracking confidence is the minimum confidence score for the hand tracking to be considered successful. This is the bounding box IOU threshold between hands in the current frame and the last frame. In video mode of hand landmarker, if the tracking fails, 
hand lead marker triggers hand detection. Otherwise, it skips the hand detection. This parameter is a floating point value between 0 and 1 with a default of 0 0.5. To run hand landmark detection on an image, use the hand landmarker detect method, passing the image source. This function is synchronous, which is a good thing to keep in mind when designing your UI. The image source can be an HTML canvas element, HTML video element, HTML image element, image data, or image bitmap. Calling detect returns a hand landmarker result object. This result includes an attribute for handedness. It tells you how likely the hands detected are to be either left or right hands. Then there are 21 landmarks and 21 world landmarks listing the x, y, and z coordinates for the given points of the hand. For landmarks, the x and y coordinates are normalized from 0.0, .0 .0 to 1.0 by the image width and height, respectively. The z coordinate represents the landmark depth, the depth of the wrist being the origin. The smaller the value, the closer the landmark is to the camera. The magnitude of z uses roughly the same scale as x. For world landmarks, each landmark is composed of x, y, and z, representing real-world 3D coordinates in meters, with the origin at the hand's geometric center. The task vision package has built-in helper functions for drawing hand landmarks and hand connections on a canvas element. First, create an instance of the Drawing Utils class. Then, iterate through the hand landmarks and call the Drawing Utils .draw connectors method, passing the landmarks and hand connections. You can also draw points for the hand landmarks using the Drawing Utils .draw landmarks method. This results in landmarks drawn on the canvas, like this image here. To detect hand landmarks in frames of a video, get the current time using performance.now. Then get the hand landmarker result using the hand landmarker detect for video method, passing your video element and the current time. And that's it. With this code, you can get started with hand landmark detection in your own web app. You can check out a complete code example on CodePen. You can also view all available solutions on the MediaPipe website, or get more hands-on with solutions in MediaPipe Studio. All these resources are linked in the video description. I always like to know what y'all are up to, so leave a comment and tell me what you're working on, what you learn, and what you still want to know. I can't wait to see what you build.